what's the fastest you've ever seen someone fail a marriage? Literally minutes. I was invited to a wedding. It was an absolutely beautiful event. Everyone in the wedding party literally looked as if they had stepped out of a magazine photo shoot. The groomsmen were all impeccably dressed and the bridesmaids all looked divine. The bride's beautiful white gown was gorgeously fitted and ended in a cascade of beautiful lace that was just to die for. Everything was planned to the nth degree. Everything. The bride and groom exchanged their vows and literally, within seconds of the, I now pronounce you man and wife, the door to the chapel flew open with a loud, explosive thud. It was so unexpected and startling that everyone turned to see what was happening. A woman walked through the door. She had wild eyes the likes of which I had never seen before. They were big, bulging, red and fixated on the bride and groom. When I say fixated, I mean it. It was as if we weren't even there. Her eyes were laser focused straight ahead. I should add that it was crystal clear that her eyes were red because she had been crying. Everyone looked at each other absolutely bewildered about why the woman would open the door so emphatically and why she looked like a wild animal ready to attack. The truth was that she looked like that because she was ready to attack. The bride had an absolute look of bewilderment on her face, but the groom had a look of panic and terror mixed with a dash of complete fear. Before anyone could really say anything, she took off running down the aisle. Some of us stood up with worried expressions as we wondered what was about to happen, but no one intervened to stop this woman. She got up to the steps where the bridal party was standing and flew up them like she was possessed. As she bounded up the steps, with a speed that almost seemed like she was flying, the next thing we saw was the groom crumble to the floor as the loudest, hardest hit I think I have ever seen. In my life was leveled against the side of his jaw. The preacher jumped back and the bride was absolutely frozen. Everyone let out a collective gasp in unison. As the groom dropped, this woman landed on his side and began to punch him like her life depended on it. After what seemed like eternity, but really was only minutes or maybe even seconds, three of the groom's men jumped in to pull her off of the groom. She wasn't budging. She wrapped her legs around this guy and clung to him like she was a second skin. I literally had never seen anything like that before in my life. It took six men to pull this five feet four inches woman completely off of this six feet one inch man. That should give you some indication of the drive and determination we were witnessing. When the woman was finally pried off of his bloody body, his nose had started bleeding, and could be contained, we started to learn all about who she was. At this point, the groom's men had her pinned and she was crying and screaming, with her tears and yells echoing through that church like a morning bell. She was yelling and screaming and asking how he could do this to her. The bride composed herself and asked the woman if she could talk to her. The woman started to calm down and the guys let her up, but kept a firm grip in case she decided to attack the bride. They sat her on a church pew and the story started to come out. She was pregnant. She had been involved with the groom for the past year. As a note, the bride had been involved with him for the past three years. She didn't know anything about the bride and the bride knew nothing about her. The groom, however, knew something about both of them because he had been seeing both ladies. He told the woman that he was going to be gone overseas for work for about three weeks. The truth was, however, that he wasn't really going anywhere for work and was, instead, getting married and then going on the honeymoon. He had done a great job of keeping this woman in the dark, but he made the fatal mistake of paying for a driver and car using a credit card account that the woman had access to. She saw the charge on the card and called the company to find out what it was for. She discovered that it was for a car and driver to take the groom and bride from the church to the reception. She managed to get the address of the church from the car company and that is how she found him. She was four months pregnant and he knew they had a child on the way. He had been staying with this woman regularly, even though he had his own place, as he and the bride did not live together and didn't stay together every night. The groom, who had been taken to a back room, came out as this woman was telling her story. He walked over to the bride and this woman and tried to yell at the woman and say she shouldn't be there. He started calling her names and trying to insult her and yell over her. It was incredible. Of course he was doing this to try to stop her from telling on him, but he was already too late. We were all so shocked and upset about what was happening that no one interrupted him as he was yelling at this woman, but as he continued to yell, something snapped in the bride. Before anyone could prevent it or really even see it coming, the bride pulled back and punched him on the side of his face opposite the side the other woman had originally hit. Her punch wasn't as hard as the first woman, but it was still a good one. Everyone jumped between the two to keep her from attacking him again. Then, her family pulled the groom out of the church to talk to him. The woman apologized to the bride for destroying the wedding, but the bride hugged her and thanked her for coming. She told the woman that she would have never known what was happening if it wasn't for her. 
the rest of the evening was actually pretty great. The bride decided to go ahead and have the reception because it was paid for. The woman came and was comforted by everyone. Turns out some members of his family knew about her. Needless to say, the bride was very upset. Everyone went to the venue and had a good time talking about the events and marveling over what we had just witnessed. The only bad part was that the woman had been too late to prevent the wedding. Legally, the bride and groom were married. Typically, you sign the marriage documents after the ceremony, but they thought they would have some time constraints after the wedding so they decided to do it earlier. The marriage documents of course hadn't been filed yet, but since it had been signed by both the bride and the groom and the wedding official and had been appropriately witnessed, they wouldn't give it back to her to rip up or destroy. They told her that they had to file it. The bride was able to get the marriage annulled and, thankfully, she dumped the guy and did not acquiesce to his repeated attempts to get back together with her. The other woman didn't get back with him either, although she did have the child and they did end up co-parenting. That was literally the fastest marriage fail I've ever seen. It didn't even last past the ceremony. The bride ended up finding out about more women he had been seeing once news of what happened started spreading. One day after this was over, I asked him how he thought he was going to get away with that deception and his response was crazy. He said I was actually just going to wing it and see how things went. I had a 50-50 shot that no one would find out and I thought those were pretty good odds. It seems dumb when I think about it, but I thought I could get away with keeping everything separate. In this case, he thought wrong. I wonder how he was going to manage hiding an entire child after the woman delivered. Thankfully, this happened in a day and time that was far less violent than now. Well, I should say less fatal than now. Today, someone may have brought a gun to settle things. Back then, fists were sufficient if you were going to go the violent route. I have. Always wished that I had a chance to talk to that woman one-on-one -on -one because she was clearly distraught and in need of some emotional support. To this day, I have never seen a beatdown like that. It was stunning, startling and very effective. I'm not saying she should have been violent, but I absolutely understand. That was an epic, memorable and quick marriage fail.